Market Blaster, where we blow apart the stock market and put it back together so that it makes sense for you. Today, here we have a special mustache and technology edition. I'm Forbes Markets Editor John Dovis, joined today in the house by Forbes Investor Editor Taysik Yoon. And I wanted to explain first my mustachio. I was just enamored with the $5 Bill Murray bill. Of course, Bill and Abe Lincoln were both from the land of Lincoln, better known as the state of Illinois. Just wanted to explain the mustache up front there. Tasek's editor uh, of this letter right here, Forbes Investor. It's a subscription newsletter. you got a model portfolio, three of them in there. He's, this guy's always tracking stocks. He's a quantitative analyst. You are a CFA, aren't you? Yes. Mm -hmm. He's a CFA. He's always doing discounted cash flow analysis. The guy's always busy. We're lucky to have him here today. Uh, the overall market, Tay, nice afternoon turnaround, which is a refreshing change of pace. Yeah, no, that, that was good. I mean, it, it, it's a, a reversal of the trends that we've seen where the markets have started strong and, 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 and selling late. Yeah. So maybe we've got a little turnaround there. And of course, everybody's still just regurgitating this bile about Facebook. Orders weren't matched by NASDAQ. The uh, underwriters gave information allegedly to their institutional clients, mm -hmm. didn't give it to the retail world that said, you know, Facebook's uh, sales will slow down next year. Uh, we we're cutting our estimates. And the stock was issued at 38, fell to 31, was up a little bit today, up about 3% today. Yep. Uh, we told you, watch out, Muppets. And actually, it wasn't Lloyd Blankfein doing the worst of the uh, Muppet can I mean things, but, uh, but uh, Morgan Stanley, allegedly. Today, a bad day for Texas from, uh, was it Round Rock, Dell? Dell had uh, earnings that just kind of stunk up the joint. Weakness where? PCs? Yeah, PCs, consumer PCs, business PCs, I and mean, you name it, everywhere. Pretty Dell much, going yeah. down, laid, a, laid an egg. Uh, and oil, oil had plunged at one point today below $90 per barrel for the first time since last October, uh, down from 106 in the past two weeks. You, the dollar's up, this is the, and just in the past month, 13% here, that green one down. Uh, and then you got down for uh, gold and the euro problems in Europe just keep on driving the dollar higher as a, as safety, as a safety flow. Back to tech, back to Tay. Uh, Dell was a dud. Dell was down 17% today, just got hammered. You don't think it's worth scooping up. It's definitely cheaper than it was. But Well, I mean, I, I think Dell, like most tech stocks right now, you know, I, th I think they all offer pretty good value, but I think there's better value in other stocks within the same space. Yep. Uh, even with the, the big decline that you see, I mean, you have, um, you know, competitors like Hewlett Packard that might offer better. Uh, HP. HP made people very happy after hours with a double beat on the top and bottom lines. Yep. Uh, they may be a little bit more of a direction. They're going to cut 8% of their workforce. You were saying that in the, over the next three years, you think that Hewlett Packard at about maybe 22 bucks or so after hours is a good buy. Yeah, I think, it was a, I think it's, a, it's a good buy um, right now for many reasons. But I, I didn't even expect the earnings to be as good as they were. You know, yeah. I just thought that the... the, the the investment community was pricing in probably the worst case scenario you could have with a stock like this, you know? It was already selling at a very low valuation, much lower than where HP was, I mean, uh, where Dell was what, prior to the day. five times earnings? Five times, 5.1 times earnings. Right. Uh, um, Dell was, uh, I think, closer to seven or, or eight. After today, though, it's, it's down to about We'll five see where, uh, where they go. I mean, they, they've got to have a direction. They're, they're part printer, they're part computers, they're part business services, right? Yep. Um, but I mean, they've got strong competitors in all those, man. They do. They have strong competitors in all of them. But, I mean, they're making the Meg Whitman, when they brought her in, they, you know, they brought her in to make uh, a lot of changes, right. bring the company back um, to where it was a few years ago. Um, and right now, um, they're going into that transition phase. So right. some people aren't, are, are not happy with how slow it's been. If you got patience, you need patience there, man. Yeah, I mean, with this com a company th this big and a turnaround as significant as they're trying to make it right now, it's going to take some time. And I think the best thing right now is for them to, to show that uh, um, uh, improvement slowly and, and gain that confidence back in the investors. In this stock, you'll see the, the P. Yeah, it was, it, was, up. it was up nicely after hours. Wanted to bring up Intel. I've had Intel for a few years, got it at like 14, great dividend back then, yield 3 3.2% now, but it's down to the 200-day moving average. It was below 25 bucks on Wednesday, closed above 25, but Intel. So do you think all the PC guys, all the people that make boxes and things for PCs are on the downslide? I think the, the, the sentiment is, it may remain on the downside, but there are, again, there's pockets of strength within even the tech, um, semiconductor industry. The ones I would look for are companies like uh, um, that, that are in the capital equipment space. Right, you know? right. Um, the, like KLA 10 core, yeah, for example. Yeah, like KLA 10 core. I mean, Down to its 200-day average. They're basically, though, they're not a chip equipment company, are they? Are they? No, what they do is they make testing equipment um, for testing um, chip manufacturing. You know, right. testing and inspecting. Uh, and these are things that companies use or chip manufacturers use to increase yield. Right. That's important now because uh, a lot of companies are using existing equipment 
to try to produce these lower um, size chips, you know, right. like the 20 uh, nanometer chips, and which all the the mobile chips are, are going towards right now. And and in order to do that, though, you you know, you're going to have to inspect your equipment more often. Right. Uh, otherwise, you're going to create bottlenecks in the in the manufacturing process. So they're buying more of this particular type of equipment, this testing equipment. So this space is actually growing There's, pretty strongly. The, the, you know, the stock here, you can see it's, it's down to its 200-day average. Uh, where are we there with KLA 10 core? Yeah. 45.90. Uh, another company in chip equipment, though, Symer, they make deep ultraviolet uh, lasers that etch mm -hmm. uh, onto uh, wafers for um, for chips. Symer out in San Diego met those guys when I worked at CNN like 12 years ago, and they're at a new high today. You're not finding a lot of stocks at new highs. Mr. Softy, you've got it in the portfolio, Tay, but would you buy it now or uh, I don't add a little bit? I don't know if I'd buy it only because I, I, I don't like buying stocks uh, um, that are trading at a, a nice gain to the market right. heading into the summer, you know? But um, I think there's nothing wrong with holding the stock, especially if you're somebody who likes collecting a, a nice well, dividend, dividend from yeah. Microsoft. Yeah, uh, and they're getting into the phones and all that kind they of are, stuff. Yeah. The one, you, what you really like though, the maker of Gorilla Glass here, Corning. I, I like, I like Corning. I've liked Corning. I've liked Corning for a while, but I think the the market is uh, is uh, um, over overestimating the the decline in the in the actual demand for their larger glass because they have Gorilla Glass too, right. which is pretty much going to be... Might be in the iPhone 5, right? Might be in the iPhone 3, 5. It's pretty much, much going to be in every single mobile device that you can think there of. Uh, and it's a smaller business, but it's a growing business, and I think it's a business that can prop up the company while their uh, their larger glass manufacturing for TV. Pretty good little cool. range from twelve to like fourteen fifty. Yeah, you and can they trade pay, the range yeah, all day they, long. They, you know, they have good financials. They pay a decent dividend, which is growing, and they've been Sweet. buying up their uh, stock like uh, like it's going out of style. You play this World of Warcraft? Uh, I don't play it. No, neither, neither but I know I, I know how insanely popular it is. Yeah. And the way to play this is Netties, N T E S, also in that Forbes investor portfolio. Yeah, Netties is bucking has done the trend well. of yep. other Chinese stocks. And you better be careful when you say that. Yeah, it outperformed last year. It was a good stock um, last year, and this year it's up about thirty percent. While most of the other well-known uh, Chinese so tech who, companies, Sina, yeah, Baidu. they're all they're, none of them are up more than five percent for the Chinese year. Chinese down there. Yeah. All know. right. Well, that's about it. Tay, you like a little bit of uh, HPQ, some GLW, some yeah. NTES, just I a like few of the three. ideas. I still like that Intel, man.